Hello and welcome to Moxie Books. It's time for your weekly book tip and this week I'm answering a question from one of my email subscribers and one of the people who bought my new book. So thanks for that Chris. Um, she asked about writing the blurb for the back of the back of the book. Some time ago I wrote an article about how to write the blurb for the back of your book and you can read that article by following the link in the description below this video. Um, it's five simple steps to help you write the blurb on the back of your book. Actually I think it's four steps. Um, anyway you can follow the link. But Chris said, hi Vicky do you think this approach would also work for the about me section of my website? I loathe writing the about me piece, everybody does, um, but I know I need to. Looking forward to your new book, thanks Chris. Um, hopefully you've got my new book now and um, yeah you do need to write the about me piece for your website. So the back blurb for your book uh, should set out, it, should, it needs to do a lot in a very a very small space because there's not a lot of room on the back of your book. Um, it should set out the question, the challenge or the problem that your reader is facing. It should promise answers and it should let your reader know what they're going to get if they pick up your book and read it. So that kind of, kind of sounds simple but it, it's a lot to fit into uh, one small space and go, go and read the article that I've written or buy a copy of my book and I will explain exactly how to do that. Um, but the about page for your website is, is actually more than that, it's the number two most visited page on the average website. Possibly isn't the case for yours but for, for most people, especially in the space that I tend to work with, the clients that I tend to work with, your about page is going to be visited a lot because the kind of thing that I do and the kind of thing that my clients tend to do means that customers and clients want to have, want to, they, they want to know who they're dealing with, it's a personal relationship. So here are a few reasons why I might visit somebody's about page. Um, I kind of vaguely know what you want to do but I, I don't know exactly and I, I want to find out a little bit more. Um, I want, want to see what kind of person you are. You know, if I'm going to hand over my hard-earned cash to you, I want to know the type of person that I'm going to be handing it over to. If you're the type of person who pulls the wings off kittens, then, you know, I, I don't want to work with you. I don't care how good you are. So that that's quite important. How do I feel about investing my money with you as a person? Um, I also want to see how long you've been doing this. Are you a real professional? That's really important. You know, that your about pages is just another chance for you to show off your expertise. And I've perhaps I've heard lots about you. Perhaps you're kind of you know internet famous, and I want to see if you're all hype and no trousers, or if you're the real deal. So I want to I want to find out a bit more about you. I would suggest you start with three big questions when it comes to writing the about page for your website, or in fact the about section for the book that you're writing. They can they can serve similar purposes. Although the about page doesn't need to be particularly long, the about page on your website doesn't need to be particularly long. Really you've got to think about what does your ideal client want to know about you the person? You know, what's important for them to know? What shows that you totally get them? You know, is there, are there any stories that you can tell that people go, oh my god she gets it or he gets it? Uh, for me, I often get people saying to me, oh my god I didn't realise that you suffered from the most appalling imposter syndrome or oh my god I didn't realise that you find it hard to get started writing as well sometimes. Yeah absolutely, so that's really really important, you've got to show people that you understand them. And the other thing that you want to consider is what stories and fascinating facts do people love hearing about you? Um, for me it's I've got three tiny sheep, um, accidentally, that's that's three of my pets. Uh, they like hearing about the what the chickens get up to. People love hearing about my pole dancing and trapeze because let's face it there aren't that many people in my space that do that kind of thing. So those are these questions that you want to think about. Um, just start scribbling your thoughts down. Don't You, you don't have to use everything that, that you come up with but that, that's a good start. And as I said you can also use these questions to write the about page for your book. So I hope that's useful, I hope that's answered your question Chris. Um, now go and tell your story, convince me that you are the type of person that I want to give my hard-earned money to. Remember if you like this video subscribe, hit the button below and subscribe, you can go to my website moxiebooks.co.uk and sign up for my regular emails and you can hit the link below and go and read that article that I wrote about how to write the blurb for the back of your book if that's something that you're stuck on. I'll be back same time next week, bye!